Hi Roboticist! In this video we hand over from the last video where we have created the configuration file in YOM format for the controllers of our robot with the simplified design that I remember you is gonna be made by three links and two joints. In fact in our configuration file we have set up the joint state controller that it is necessary to track the state like position of each joint over the time and then we have configured the controller giving to them the following setup the name the type the joint and the PID values the name is arbitrary and in this case we have chosen for example joint one position controller and for the type effort controller slash joint position controller and this convention means that we are going to control the joint giving a position and then the ROS controller package will translate the values in effort data that will be transmitted to the hardware that will be a motor. The joint we need to keep the name that we have set up in the URDF file and finally we have given a PID values a first guess. These values will be tuned in the next video and I will show you how to do that. So, we can now create a launch file that spawns the cobot in Gazebo with the controller configuration. We can update the spawn robot.launch file adding the controllers. And for keeping things separately, let's make another launch file and name it spawn robot w controller dot launch. So copy and paste. And now we need to add the controller configuration. And we can do it by passing as ROS parameter the YAM file that we have just created. Then we need to load the node controller manager for which we have already set up our package with these dependencies. The controller manager belongs to the controller manager package and the executable file is called spawner so you can set the output as a screen respawn as a false and assign as a namespace cobots finally as arguments we need to put the joint state controller necessary for the joint state topic for each joint and then the name of the controller that we have decided in the YOM file that is gonna be joint 1 position controller and the joint 2 position controller we have our namespace that is gonna be cobots and so we need to remap the joint state topic belonging to the node robot state publisher with the namespace cobot joint state. This is very important because if we don't do that, the robot state publisher package is not allowed to create the joint state topic with the right namespace and we won't be able to control our robot okay we are done and we can launch the simulation and uh, 
Uh, we can see the robot simplified with uh, three links and uh, two joints and let's check what happens when we press play. You can see that the robot keeps straight, but it is acting very weird. Why that? I wanted to show you this problem that might happen when you model your robot and you spawn in gazebo, so you will be able to overcome this issue. What is happening is that the robot is floating in the environment, so, so we don't have any, let's say, binding reaction to the robot control. So, in order to do that, we just need to create a fake link that represents the world and a fixed joint that links the world to the base link. So let's do it by modifying the URDF file. At the very beginning create a link and call it world. And right after let's create a joint of type fixed that links as parent the world link that you have just created and as a child the base link that you have model in the URDF file previously. As you can see we don't need to specify anything because it is only used for fixing the robot somewhere. In this case it doesn't matter where because we are spawning our robot in an empty world and of course if we will need to define and of course we will need to define the position if we want to spawn the robot in a specific world so let's launch it again And now you can see that the robot stays straight and it is fixed in the world. This means that the controllers are corrected set up to the two joints. Let's check the topics that are working right now. So by typing gross topic list and you can see that we have a lot referring to the joint position controller, and joint state and so on and so forth. But if you think we didn't create in our package any node and the topic either like that with that name, so what is the tool that is providing all this topic? Well, the tool is the Gazebo plugin that we have put in our URDF file at the end that is calling the library that takes care of creating a connection and a communication between the controller manager and the joint configuration with the Gazebo environment. We have everything now to test the robot, control it by publishing a joint position for a specific joint. We can do it via command line by typing ROS topic pub minus one, meaning that we want to publish only one time to the topic cobot slash joint to position controller command. Then type tab tab for auto compilation and we can see the type of the message that you can publish and finally the data. The data that you are gonna put is the angle in radians of the joint that you want to be at. As a first guess we can put 1.557 so it's gonna be 90 degrees and you can see that it's going to 90 degrees 
let's do it again but this time minus 1.57 and you can see that the link 2 or better the joint link 1 link 2 is going to the setup position let's change the joint and feel free to get familiar with these commands and you can play with any degrees that you want to test that's all for today we have created our launch file to spawn the robot and its controller manager and we have tested the behavior of each joint when we are publishing a joint position in radiance I hope that you enjoyed this video, if yes, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to do not miss the next topic where we will learn how to tune the joint controller in a PID value that I remember you for now are only guess values with the help of the very useful tool provided by Ross that is gonna be IQT Reconfigure. After that we will complete the model of our robot and we will be ready to play with the pick and place manipulation. And I'm looking forward to show you that. Thank you for your attention and keep learning robotics with Ross.